Hi, my name is Max and this is the LaTeX Beginners Course. If you take a look at the document, we have come a long way since the first video, but we haven't talked about tables yet and I already included a section here, so let's get going. Tables in LaTeX work a bit different than you might be used to from Word, but it's absolutely worth learning it because after a short amount of time you will be just as fast, you will achieve better looking results and you will be much more flexible. Now, the basic environment for a table is the tabular environment. Uh, so we can begin with this, begin tabular. And then we have an additional pair of braces here in which we have to determine the number and the alignment of our columns. So um, we first have to be clear about how many columns do we want and then we can say we want them centered, flush left or flush right. Um, so let's say we want to have three columns and we want them all centered. So it's just C, C, C. And we are looking uh, at this again later, but for now, let's do our table. Um, here it's just like in a matrix environment, we are separating columns with ampersand signs and we are separating lines with a double backslash. Uh, so let's start with first line, first column, one, ampersand, first line, second column, two, uh, and three. Uh, then we only have three columns, so this line is finished. Uh, we are finishing it with a double backslash and then line 2 and line 3 are already prepared this uh, and now we can compile yeah and here we are but honestly this looks awful we can work with this and we'll see that for a table we need an additional environment um, we will talk about it later for now it will just suffice to um, add an empty line before and after the table and now yeah, now this looks a bit better. Not perfect, but now we can work with this. First, let's say we forgot to add a line. We can absolutely do this afterwards. So just include it. And here we go. Now it should be displayed. Yeah, it is. And we are also really flexible with the columns. So we can say we want a fourth column here, also centered. And then we can say ampersand four. Um, and here also ampersand, but here we don't need anything, so we leave this empty. Uh, here the same thing, and here maybe a 14. And then let's go. And now we have a fourth column uh, with two empty places, so we, so we see that we are really flexible here as well. You might be a bit confused with a new table because it doesn't contain any horizontal or vertical bars. And if you're used to Word, there you get them automatically all the time, everywhere, and here you don't. But actually, this is a good thing because you don't need too much bars in the table. Um, but of course you need some, uh, and you have to include them separately with, with separate commands. And the command for a horizontal line is hline, so maybe one at top of the, on top of the table, so here hline. And then one on the bottom of a table, again hline and maybe one between the first and the second line, H line again, and then compile. And here we have our three horizontal lines in the table. Of course, we can also add vertical lines. This is done between the letters here. We don't need an extra command. We just need the vertical line from a keyword, which is this one. Um, of course, we can add them everywhere here um, or between the other uh, our other columns but in this case um, this is enough I think so let's do this and yeah now we have here a vertical line now you might want to have it a bit more fancy let's say with double bars um, so we ju can just go here and add another bar um, and also for the horizontal one add another H line uh, and there we go so now now we have double bars and this even goes up to triple bars. I don't think that this makes sense there anymore, but it's a nice feature. Now that we have our lines, we can better see the alignment of our columns. Um, I think it makes sense to do the first column flush right to the double bar and then the second column flush left to the double bar. So let's do this. Flush right is an R and flush left is an L. And now we can see now we can see that, yeah, I think this looks a bit better. Uh, we have here flush, flush right 
here flush left and here centered and here also centered. Another issue with this table, I think these lines here are a bit narrow and I would like to have them broader. We can change the array stretch and just go up here and then our command here is renew command. And then we have two pairs of braces and the first pair we say array stretch. Uh, and then the second pair the actual value so the default is 1.0 let's try 1.2 and yeah let's compile and we go here yeah now it's a bit broader now let's talk about the environment i mentioned before the table environment because with the table environment we finally have proper spacing and we also can label a table and we can give it a caption so the table environment um, I'm just copying this one here and leave it in for comparison and then here um, table and then a tabular environment inside the table environment and now we can compile and we have here a table with proper spacing and also it's a float now. We already discovered floats when we were talking about the figure environment um, and we can handle them here the same. We can uh, say we want it uh, here or at the top or at the bottom But the way it is displayed now is at the top of the page and I think this is perfect for this case So let's stick with this now as I promised we can give this table a caption and the scientific standard is I think to put the caption on top of the table So let's do this um, Just with the caption command we already know uh, And then fancy table maybe and compile and now we have the caption in the middle so centered since the table is not centered this looks a bit bad but uh, we can center the table no problem um, just begin center environment um, the tricky part is just that uh, you can't center the table environment you just need to center the tabular environment so here uh, and now the table should be centered and yeah it is fine now in order to reference this table we have to give it a label we already know this um, just label and then in order to uh, get our advanced referencing solutions working we have to begin a label for a table always with tab column and then maybe let's call it fancy good uh, now maybe let's include here uh, ref and then a table fancy here we are uh, and then compile and at first time we have question marks but when we compile two times now we have number one uh, but this is the normal ref not the clever ref mm, let's do this and now we should have table one and yeah we have table one Good, this is all the basic knowledge you need in order to create good looking tables in LaTeX. Um, just always use this easy template. First begin the table environment, then the caption, the label, and then begin center, begin tabular, and then just as we discussed, fill in the table and include lines where you want them. But as always, we want to present an advanced solution to you, and in this case, it's the book tabs package. With the book tabs package, you can create even more professional looking tables and the difference here is really in the details, so let's give it a try. Um, we first have to include a new package, uh, which is the book tabs package. And then the workflow is absolutely the same. Just copy this um, and include it here. Uh, and now we have to delete these lines here. Uh, we don't use them in the book tabs package and we don't use, uh, use the vertical lines as well uh, and uh, instead we have different rules so for the top we have the top rule top rule um, the bottom obviously bottom rule uh, and in the mid we can say mid rule and we can have more than one mid rule but i think in this case this isn't necessary uh, then we can of course change the label book tab okay so let's go 
yeah here it is and maybe we want it uh, displayed with some text in between so an H and then yeah now we have some text in between and now let's take a better look at it here we are at the document let's just go to book tabs to give it a comparison um, you can see the normal table the book tab um, we have thicker rules here and when printing this will make even a bigger difference it gives it a better definition of the background um, and I can only recommend you to use it and it also prevents you from using too much lines in the table so another good thing about book tabs what else have we learned today we now can create tables we can use the tabular environment and the table environment for captions and for labeling and we can also control the alignment inside the table so I think this is enough on tables for now. Uh, in the next video, we're going to focus on citing and literature. So I hope to see you then. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something uh, and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.